Welcome to episode two of Ginger Spice Standing in Front of Ruins. <laughs> this is the entrance to uh, Lost Thread. And I'm going to be doing Epic Elite, of course. I just noticed that I finished my messages and it didn't open up my map. Come on now. So level 22 now, and I'm definitely feeling like I'm I'm liking what I'm doing this life better than last life. You know the aura thing going on. I've got four uh, cleaves, totally awesome. You know, and and then you know it kind of feels like five because holy retribution. You know that's sort of an AOE. It is an AOE attack, so that's pretty rad too. So let's see, I don't think I changed anything on the enhancement side. This should be exactly the same as last video. And on the Epic Destinies, everything's the same here. I might change twists, change a twist or two for next video. Because um, I'm going to be moving some things around when I get Celestia. And on the gear side, the only difference between this video and last would be I've got the epic wall of wood. And I'm a big fan of just going for the normal versions of both the normal and epic because, you know, they're you can use the normal versions lower level. You know, they're too lower level than like the elite version, for example. And, you know, like the epic one, that's not an end game shield anyways. I mean, the, ep the epic elite one's nice, but, you know, you can't use that till level 24. I'd rather just use this level 22, and I sure as hell don't want to have, you know, two or three different versions in my inventory to, to upgrade just to use for a level or two. So, I like the normal version. A lot easier to farm, too, or a lot easier to buy off the auction house. All right, let's do a quest. So I chose this one, as you can probably guess if you've been watching the series, uh, because I haven't done a quest video of this one before. Not a particular fan of this one. I can't even really say why. Never really did anything. Not gonna bother with the with the slaves. I guess I can free one. A little, a little bit of XP. I got power attack now, so that's new from last last video. Had to wait until the level 19 strength tome kicked in. I started with such low strength, I didn't meet the prerequisite for. scary. I don't know if it was last life or, the, or when I was doing the PK wizard thing, but I had a hell of a time with this guy in one of my lives.
can be a pain if you don't beat him down fast enough. Because he summons all, all these bastards. You know, one of the things I wanted to mention, in case you're a little bit newer or you just never tried it, and I'm sure you know you've probably seen other people use it. You know, you, hell, you've probably used it yourself. But in case you haven't, for those that haven't, um, a real popular twist that for melee to do. I don't see as many doing it now, but you know, going back six months ago, it was really popular. And it's still a really solid choice. Is to twist in both consecration and sacred ground. Uh, and the reason is because it's uh, it's nice AOE damage from the Consecration, which does both fire damage and good damage to everything around you. You know, it only costs 30 spell points. Uh, and then, so, like, so, you know, melee, so many melees are multi-classing, and they have a blue bar for this, that, or the other reason. So 30 spell points, you know, that's that's very reasonable. But um, But to twist in Sacred Ground as well, because that way when you do the Consecration, you're actually, it's healing you. It, it's, it says you're healed every three seconds for one point of positive energy per character level. And it is affected by positive energy spell power. And then, of course, it can be, you know, your heal amp is going to affect it too. So it's really, really nice maintenance healing. So if you are looking for, you know, a new way to do self healing and you haven't given that a try, you know, try it out. Uh, it, you know, it's a little steep because it costs two twists, but, you know, like I said, it's self-healing and you're doing AoE DPS with it. Get a devotion item. Maybe even a combustion item, too. I'm going to go ahead and rest. I used a bunch of my holy retributions. You know, I was kind of thinking that it, it seems like it might be kind of fun to run a, a warlock, like an enlightened spirit warlock in this destiny. You know, because you got another aura, and you got a cleave, um, immunity to petrification, some PRR, and uh, you know, both the two auras. So it's a pretty cool destiny. I've never, never really run with this much, or at least you know, obviously I never ran in it as a melee. That's one of, you know, I talked about early on in the series how one of the things I was looking forward to playing to playing Paladin was because, you know, it would help me understand more about how melees work. And I've come to appreciate them a lot more know it, there's definitely more to it than just swinging a piece of steel um, you know if that's all you want to do obviously you know you can just hold the button down and chase mobs around but you know, it's a little bit more and I not that I understand all the finer points of it but you know I certainly understand it a lot better than I used to Finding that I'm forgetting to use Zeal of the Righteous. So here you can just do Gate 1, and you can pull that one if you want to let those guys out. Oh, killed him. Boom. So it's just that first one up there, and then one, two, three. You know, some of you probably fiddle around with those lovers. and You know, I, I used to be there, too. You know, kept pulling them, pulling them, pulling them, and it seemed like none of the combinations would work. Just 
one up top and one, two, three there. picked up this uh, remove paralysis. I never really read the spell before but it's supposed to remove slow so I thought it would work in situations like that but clearly it does not. Clearly you want to be a little bit more careful than I'm being if you want to free the slaves, but I don't care. Now, an important thing here, there is a bug that can make this quest incompletable. You never want to drag like the mobs and Anna back here by this door. And the reason is because once you finish the fight, Anna will automatically like bring down the barrier without you talking to her. And if she does that, then she doesn't want to go through the, no the dialogue that you're supposed to at that point and then you can't finish it because it, it, it gets hung up on the fact that you didn't complete a dialogue. So bottom line is don't ever bring Anna and, and the mobs you know back here by the door. Keep them up there by the shrines and you'll do just fine. Some of you are going, oh shit, that's why it bugged out on me all those times. Yep, that is why. This uh, epic Kronzek's cruelty. See there, it's saying 13 to 20 now for crit range. I'm not sure why in the last video it only said 14 to 20. And I'm not sure exactly what's getting it to 13 in any event. It's a fun weapon. I really like it. I'm looking forward to getting Celestia again, but definitely like this thing. probably mentioned last series but if you're not familiar with it it does come from the carnival chain uh, the base item 
is from an optional in under the big top, Kronzek is an Abishai, and he's kind of like off the beaten path a little bit. There's some really cool optionals in there. And then the, you know, shard, all the shards from that chain, of course, come from the epic end chest up under the big top. We're a hell of a time farming the, the base item. And I think the shard, too. Still attacking me, but I don't see a slaver anywhere. I guess they're gonna have to die. Maybe they're just pissed at me because I killed the other slaves. You know, earlier I said I don't really like this quest, and I couldn't really say why, but I know exactly why now. Because of Anna. I hate Anna with a white-hot passion. I hate her here. I hate her in Caught in the Web. I wish she would die in a fire. I wish in Caught in the Web there was a way to have an option with Loth to say, you know, screw it, you can have Anna, I'm going back to Eberron. I think another reason that this quest is tainted for me be is because I had so many bad experiences with it bugging out before I learned what the reason was. This boss can hit pretty hard if you're a little squishy.
forgetting, forgetting to do my, uh, my divine might and my divine favor a lot this life. So those, I didn't have those running since the very beginning of the quest. I did find a button to sort of comfortably go through all my cleaves. I had, you know, last video I, I mentioned how, you know, that fourth cleave, I couldn't really find a button you know, to make it work, but I found some. So I'm regularly doing all four cleaves, which is awesome. that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. And if you're on Saralona, you're welcome to send me a tell.